just out here for our walk with Kingston. We're uh, working on our healing here. He's doing excellent with it. We went around the whole block now already, up and down the bike path, and now we're just on the road here. And he's been in this position the entire time, unless I give my release command, which for him is break. And this is what our heel looks like for me. A lot of people like that heel where the dog is like right here at your hip looking up at you. I want a dog back here in a follower state of mind, a calm follower state of mind, not looking up to us for you know attention or anything like that just following our lead right and so that that puts this dog into a nice relaxed follower state of mind and now we can kind of pass triggers that the dog would normally react to like bicycles and things like that and the dog pays it no attention because it's it's called kind of in this follower state of mind and it's deferring to us in this situation in any situation that's kind of what we want is the dog to defer to us and so if i slow down he slows down if i stop he should stop and he should sit he should have shot automatically so we'll work on that but he's doing very good heel and i give the heel command and you can see i can drop that leash no issues as long as he doesn't step on it heel we just get him to come a little closer there we don't want him too far back right there is beautiful heel good job very good and i'll just pat my leg what i'll do here um to remind him to get him into this position if i start to see him break that position step to the you know maybe he steps off to the right side i always want the left side here so maybe he starts to veer off or maybe he falls behind or speeds up anytime that happens i'm going to press my tone button which is the t right here and that makes a tone sound and that just reminds him that he's doing something that he shouldn't be doing right he's falling out of line or he's not in that position that he's supposed to be in and that's the warning and if i tap that and he immediately corrects himself and puts himself back in that spot which he just did i won't do anything further but if he doesn't what i'll do is i'll press that stimulation and i'll hold that stimulation to the level nine right now and that's a pretty motivating level for him so if i need him to you know speed up and i press that tone and he still lollygags behind or maybe stops and sniffs something i'm going to tap that tone but then immediately tap that stimulation if the tone doesn't get his attention right and you know, nine times out of 10, that tone's gonna do the trick, especially for Kingston. Um, but if it doesn't, that's what we'll do. So you'll see here, I'll stop. Good, and there's that auto sit, heel. And I just tap my tone when I say heel there, just to remind him what that means to follow me. And that's how that should look, right? Heel, good. And we'll just get him to speed back up again. And I'll kind of pat the side of my leg here to give him a little bit of a visual signal. Uh, oh, we might get caught here with our long leash. I think we're okay. We're totally off leash here too so you know we got the long leash for safety of course but we're just kind of walking around here and he's doing great with it and that's what we want here like i said i'll just give a little bit of a visual cue as well just by patting my leg there to let him know where he's supposed to be and uh kingston didn't take long to figure this one out and he's nailed it so it's perfect yeah that's what our uh, our healing looks like that's what we want to teach each of the dogs that come to us for our boarding train is how to heal like this. Our walk behind technique does amazingly good things for them.